Hello everyone, it's sunny and bright today so it's good to do some videos for you. Right, I'm doing this video to answer some of the questions that was asked about my Zoom G1X on, on how I use it or how efficiently I can use my Zoom G1X on during gigs or recordings or even during rehearsals. So this will be a three part video. The first part would be the essential things that I normally use or do with my Zoom G1X on. The second part is about the patches that I use. And the last bit is the sound test of those patches. So let's start off with um, my basics with this one. So why I like or love my Zoom G1X on. So the first thing is the tuner, the built-in tuner. Because I can mute the effects pedal and then uh, quickly check my tuning on stage. And um, when I'm plugging it in as well, I can put it on mute so that it doesn't disturb if I'm putting my lead on to the guitar, you know, that buzzing sound. So yeah, that's my purpose of the tuner. So it's not only for tuning the guitar, but it has another purpose. And then the next one is the battery at the back. I always bring my rechargeable battery or sometimes I buy a new set of batteries. So it's four AAs that you use for this one because Sometimes when you showed up on gigs, there's no available power outlet or at times it's all used up by either the amps or obviously if you've got bandmates and their effects pedal doesn't have an option for batteries, then it's necessary for them to use the power outlet. But with me, I don't bother with it because I can use my battery for this one. And also, having said that, because it's battery operated, while waiting for your gig or for your time slot, you can tune again, tune your guitar while waiting because you can use this as tuner. Just put on your battery and then you can tune this. And it's got headphone option when you got the battery on. You can even jam while waiting. So it's handy for the battery option. Last. I've mentioned about the headphone out. You can select that one as a line output, meaning if your amp got busted or during rehearsal it's too bulky or heavy to bring along your amp, you can use the direct out for this one to the PA. Um, it happened one time when we got a gig somewhere. Um, Hertfordshire I think and they provided the amps for us but the first band um, sort of toasted or um, damaged the amp that was provided so we're, we're left with one amp so what I did was that amp goes to the other guitarist lead vocals and I used this one direct to the PA and it didn't stop our, our gig from happening because of that option where you can just directly plug your effects pedal to the PA system and another time as well that it happened was an open mic they only got one um, guitar amp so I had to put this one directly to the PA system let's talk about the patches I use I saved this one as personalized so A0 bypass so meaning I just turned off if you see those effects there they're off I manually turn it off uh, on the settings so that the purpose of that one is that when you go to a gig and then you're using a different amp the amp that they're they provided obviously you need to tweak it a little bit 
so if you put this on bypass mode you can check your volume gain eq reverb whatever um, that's on that amp you can either turn it off on off, like for example it's got digital effects you can turn it off and hear the sound of your guitar without the effects itself so that they don't interfere so it's good or handy if you got that one bypass mode if you want to add certain effects like mine those are the two ones as you can see those two are off those effects are off at the moment when you press down to a1 it's now activated apart from the wah pedal that's the wah pedal there it's not on so if i step on the wah there it's on now so i got the option on my clean tone to add my wah pedal so off can you see the difference on right the same goes with this one it's off and then when i it's on it's darker then I can add wawa the question about adding um, chorus for example so you got your clean tone you don't have any modulation like chorus or flanger just copy the same settings but add your chorus and save it to the next patch a0 no chorus save it on a1 activate your chorus so Meaning, if you step on this one, it's like activating your chorus. So it's like a stump box. Or, for example, you got your clean tone ready. It's got your chorus, it's got your reverb. And then you want, you want to add an overdrive. Same setting, save it on the next patch, which is my clean tone, for example, A1. And then my rhythm or crunch, where I put an overdrive, I save it on A2. So I'll show it to you. This is my A1. And then when I step up to A2, my crunch, V crunch, I added an overdrive. So it will be a crunch tone. And then I still put my wah pedal, which is optional, where I can manually turn it on and off. So why I'm sharing this to you is that right, you're in a gig, you got your clean tone, rhythm lead it's got really different functions so my rhythm or my clean tone i mean is where i i, I use it um, with the clean sound then if i need a wah doing a rhythm section which is clean then i can activate that one and go to my rhythm the volume on my rhythm um, patch is like halfway so it's not too loud and then the gain for the overdrive is just low so it's not noisy at all and then my lead tone the volume is higher and then there's added more like delay etc we'll talk about that one my lead tone now there v uh, lead so this is, um, i got a pedal wah pedal and then um we can scroll it because that's not activated at the moment uh -huh. to activate that one you need to press a pedal off on so and then let's scroll on the next on my lead tone i got a booster and that's the setting there the gain and the level so gain is almost all the way it's like number eight or nine if the gauge is up to ten if you're looking at it as a clock it's on four o'clock i think and then my level is also high so on three o'clock okay and then next my next in the pedal chain is the bgn overdrive Okay, so or drive I mean so you got gain 
tone and level so tone is a bit low almost one i think or zero and then gain is uh, three o'clock and level is two o'clock next there you go it's my eq okay some of you wouldn't need eq especially if you got a very nice guitar uh, if you got a cheap guitar this will help improve the tone of your guitar next delay that's very important when you're doing lead you need to have a bit of delay so that it will sustain or make your sound like it's flying so what we got here is time feedback and mix so time is a bit low feedback is on 11 o'clock I think and then the same with mix it's 11 o'clock so that's it that's my lead tone it's a trademark lead tone and I'm sharing it to you guys right on the next video will be uh, the sound test let's tune the guitar first And then we are on uh, the neck pickup. Thank you.